Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com and in this video we'll learn how to install one of Mandeep's DNN themes on DNN 9.1 Plus. So let's get started. What I have here is a default installation of DNN 9.1 and one of the first things we're going to do is locate our theme installation files. So you could download the theme from either DNN store or our uh, Mandeeps.com site and the zip file that you're going to download must be extracted or unzipped as it says in the name. Once you extract that file you will see a bunch of folders here and we're specifically interested in the install files folder at this time. As you can see there's two folders here. One is obviously a skin folder. In this particular case we're installing our Tahoe DNN theme but this video and instructions applies to any theme, any of Mandeeps.com themes. So I can see that uh, the install file for Tahoe is right here. I also see that there's a module folder and there's a bunch of stuff there too. Specifically, I'm interested in uh, the Mandeep's common library, which is a shared library across all of our products. This library is a requirement to install any of our DNN themes, so that's the first thing we'll be installing. Uh, we also see there's an optional live slider module that you can use to create slides. and uh, you can refer to our how to install module uh, video if you want to install that one as well but for our purposes we'll just install this common library first and then the theme so let's get started make sure you're logged in as a super user or a host and uh, you have the access to install or deploy permissions and once you do that we're simply going to go to uh, this our persona bar on the, on the left and we're going to go from here from settings to extensions Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit install extension and we're going to browse for our uh, installation files. So again, uh, install files, module, common library. Make sure you install the common library first and then the theme itself. So we're going to go ahead and hit next here. Um, just accept the license and hit next. We're just going to wait for the installation to complete. That was quick. And we just scroll uh, down to the bottom. It says installation successful, so we're going to go ahead and hit done. And now we're going to repeat this process to actually install the theme. And like I said, this in this particular case, we're installing the Tahoe theme, but uh, the instruction applies to any theme uh, that we offer. So I'm going to go ahead and browse, and now I'm going to browse for the ta Tahoe installation file. And then again, just hit next a couple times, read through the licensing agreement, hit accept and there we go we have our theme installed and ready to go i'm just going to go ahead and hit hit done here and i'm going to close this out just wait for the site to come back uh, momentarily as it recompiles okay now that the the site is back up we can simply go um, to manage themes and we see that our uh, Tahoe theme is now available right here and we can simply go ahead and apply it to the entire site. Now instead of doing that I'm going to go ahead and apply it to a specific page uh, and I'm going to quickly come here and create a new page. I'm going to do that from add page and simply just say uh, sample page and hit add page and I'll just drag it here right after right at the end would be fine so it's just waiting for the site to refresh here as soon as it does we'll have our sample page there it is I'm gonna get rid of uh, the default HTML module and then what I'm gonna do is just go to page settings and apply our newly installed uh, Tahoe theme here so it's under advanced appearance and I see there's a Tahoe theme so I'm gonna set that and uh, I can choose either home or inner uh, and choose one of the containers uh, as well so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and the reason I'm applying it here really quick is to show you that as soon as you add uh, or apply the theme to your site one of the first things you're gonna do after you close out of here is uh, see a activation message right here it says uh, the Tahoe needs to be either activated or you can hit continue trial. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and go back to my sample page. 
If you do that, you will always have the option to activate your theme later within 14 days from the bottom right. So you can always come back here, hit continue trial, and then follow the prompts. Uh, you simply type in your email address that was used to purchase the license and then an activation key will be emailed to you. Click on request activation key and then a key will be emailed to you uh, in a minute or so. And then we simply wait for it to arrive and cut in your mailbox and copy and paste it here okay so i have that key now and i'm going to simply paste it here and hit apply and it says our license has been successfully activated that's it for the short video and we now see that our theme is activated and it's right here obviously on the on the top we have a full screen header and we're missing the slider module so it looks incomplete uh, but that's where you want to check out the videos on how to import a page template or uh, create a sample site in minutes if you have any questions or concerns feel free to open a support ticket and thank you so much for watching the video